This is, this is an, the first time we've had an early signing period. And, uh, I mean, I love it. Uh, you can put me on record with that. Uh, I'm, I've, I've been a longtime advocate for an early signing period in football for years. In fact, I presented it at the head coaches meeting at the coaches convention three or four years ago. Now, I, I just wish it was earlier. I wish we did it August 1, uh, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, because there's so many of these guys, they, well, you don't have to change anything. All these guys who are committed and know what they want to do, and now if a coach is fired or a coach leaves, then hey, then they have the opportunity to, 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 to get out of that in December if, if there's a change. But an early signing period is just that. It is an opportunity for these young people that know what they want to do to go ahead and formalize the process and not have to sit around and deal with all the, the drama uh, any longer. And, uh, you know, Trevor Lawrence has been committed since last December, you know, and uh, he would have signed, he would have signed in the summer uh, if he'd have been allowed to. Uh, so that's, that's what this is for. It's not a day that everybody has to sign. Uh, we've got February. Now that's a day where you got to make a decision on what you're going to do to go to college. Uh, but, you know, this is a day really intended for guys that know what they want to do. And I, and I love it because, again, it, it, uh, it cleans the whole process up for the guys who've been committed for a long time. Mike Jones has been committed for two years. Pretty much this whole class has been committed forever. And, uh, and again, it allows guys to go ahead and, 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 and check that box and get their eyes focused on what's next and not have to spend January uh, dealing with grown men, still calling them, trying to talk them out of something.